Hey guys, it's Laszlo again. Um, this is a follow-up video to my original one about how to bind the T12 Pro to the Inductrix. Uh, there's been some people asked for um, to go through some steps, so let me do it from scratch. Forewarned, I haven't bound this in a couple of months, so I'm going to be probably a little rusty. Anyways, let's go for it. So first thing I'm going to do is create a model, and I'm going to just call it, uh, let's say, I for Inductrix, and then I'm going to go back up to my tables, to my mixes page, which is page 6 of 13, and first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to my mode, so I will call it M for mode, and then I like this trigger here is my SB is my preferred one here. So anyways, so that one's there. And then next one is gonna be my arm. And my preferred arm is this one here. So I do that. Now let's go back to pages. I go back to my first page. Sorry, second page. And um, I'm going to go to internal RF. I'm going to select multi. Then I'm going to select DSM. Then I'm going to select X22. Now, that's basically all you got to do. Now, if you try, for the, someone has asked me whether or not you can go to press the bind button. But if you press the bind button, it's going to say that it's protocols invalid. So, anyways. It's basically spectrum does an auto bind kind of thing. So anyways, so that's plugged in. See the flash there. Now we're going to plug in. See we got the connection there. Trigger on, trigger off. Modes again, the color we talked about that last time. Modes so yeah, trigger on to, to arm it, trigger again to turn it off. Yeah. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Uh, short and sweet. Uh, let me know if you have any comments. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.